Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I am Crash Rouser, and it's once again time to crash the scans with another episode of the Skylanders Imaginators Imagine Lock here on the channel. Episode 4. My god, it's been a month. It's been one month since this episode's been uploaded, and I'm recording this in one sitting, so I don't know how well this series is doing, but I'm gonna thank you guys in advance. Just seeing like, hey, you guys are doing great. So if you aren't, why you just let you just let future me down. Future me's watch this episode being like, man, past me was so excited about this, and it and it just let him down. But regardless, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I'm currently enjoying it. But anyways, the Imaginite Lock or Imaginator, Imagine Imagine Lock. I keep forgetting the name of this series. Good lord. The Imagine Lock. Very interesting series. Um, very fun. But for you guys who might just be joining episode 4, first of all, in the description it says previous episode, go back and watch the other episodes. Go back to the beginning. There's a playlist down there too. So click the playlist. Watch that from the beginning. It's worth it. Trust me. And if you're you're watching episode 4 and you're, oh, I meant to hit, hit the ep next episode, that's down there too. So you don't got to worry about that. But I'm going to explain to you what the Imagine Lock is. So, the Imagine Lock is very similar to the Dragon Lock. I'm only allowed to use the 10 original Imaginators I created, such as Boulder Badger, you see on the screen, who is an Earth Brawler, but I'm only let, but I can use the other Imaginators I created, like the Dark Swashbuckler, Celio Oscuro, or the Undead Bazooker, Skelly Bro. Now, at any time in the game where it says Skylanders of the Blank class are stronger in this zone, I have to switch out to that said Skylander. So, if it says the Earth class is stronger, I have to switch out to Boulder Badger. And I'm not allowed to switch out until it gives me another class or a Skylanders defeated. What do you mean with the Skylanders defeated? Well, unfortunately, if a Skylanders defeated, they're gone. They are not coming back, unfortunately. It's sad to say, but it is true. They are out for good. In the lock, they are considered dead, and I cannot use them again. And the new rule implemented to this one is, at the end of every level, there is a Doomlander appears. Like last episode, we had to fight the Brawler Doomlander, and your boy Boulder Badger took him out extremely quickly. Spoiler. So, in this next one, in Scholarville we're going to, at the end, or I think halfway through, if I'm not mistaken, there is another, another, um, what's it called? Doomlander. So I switch out to that Skylander who is, who is the same Doomlander as him, and it's literally a fight to the death. So we're going to waste no more time and hop right into Scholarville here and continue on with this series. If you guys are excited as I am, show some love in the just comments and the like buttons and all that stuff. It means a lot to me to see your guys' support in this series. Like, it honestly does. Because it means that you guys are enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying this. So... <sighs> Really? He would be inside that castle right there, and I'm pretty sure that he'd be looking for the everlasting thinking cap. If that existed too. Then that's where we are headed. Although Spyro, can you do anything about these ships blasting the town? I guess so. Oh, you want me to do it right now? Gotcha. <laughs> me! Literally me! I do that all the time. It's ridiculous. Air Skylanders, alright, we're kicking off with your boy Chime Time, the Air Smasher. Great, kick this out, my opinion. So there's been three, if no, there's there's been five that haven't even been used yet in this series. This is episode four, and five haven't even made their debut yet. So it's going to be interesting. I mean, they're all going to appear at one point, so that's the big thing. Like, that's the one thing about this series I'm really excited about, is literally all ten Imaginators will be in this series. Uh, just don't know when or anything like that. So it's gonna be exciting because when it comes up the blank, I'm like, oh, I can use it finally. <laughs> but I decided to use Chime Time. I decided, obviously, I'm decided to use anyone in this series. So there we go. You know what? Oh, there we go. I don't know why it shot backwards, even though I was aiming directly at it, and it explodes. Goodbye. Whoopa. Ooh. Wonder why.
<gasps> Probably a lot of things, but I'm just going to be positive here and say, yeah, nothing can go wrong. Boom. And another one. Oh, didn't get those. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. One left. Oh, uh, no. There we go. Get them all. Oh, that was a close call with a cannon. Fire Skyler. Remember I said earlier, I'm like, I'm so excited for it to pop up. Here comes the debut of our Fire Knight, Slabertooth. Now, he isn't the debut. He was in the original series. But, yeah. Here he is. I love Slabertooth. I gotta say, I love all my Sky my imaginations I created, but I think Slabertooth has the best design of them all. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, let's go, boy. He's so strong, too. That's the thing. I love Slabertooth. Like, I'm not like I'm not being biased against any of them. Like, I love all my Imaginators all together. Like, they're all my favorites. But, like, I love Slabertooth's design. I love his moveset. He's perfect, in my opinion. Perfect. We're going to grab this Sensei. So we're not going to switch out because we don't have a Sensei on the team. Unfortunately, we just have Imaginators. Come on. Come on. Can I knock you up in the air? Oh, I can't. I can't knock him up. Okay, interesting. That sounded weird. <laughs> I just, I literally just noticed what I just said. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. And, oh. Goodbye. <laughs> I just literally knocked all three, all five of those guys off the edge. Not once did I attack them. I just, I just like shot them in the air. Oh, what we got going on here? Don't, don't come down, dude. I knocked literally all your friends off the edge. Uh oh. Ooh. That looks like hurt. I don't know what he just said. Terberg? Goodbye! <laughs> I had to. I just had to do it once more. Come on, bro. Get defeated already. You're a punk. There, got him. Enough. And we got ourselves a Magnite chest. Nice. Let's see what we have that we already got. New headgear, Dragon's Ridge. Oh, that's Spyro's Dragon. Cool. I've seen some crit. Man, I gotta talk about something I seen earlier. Tech Skylander. Oh, it's another new one. Hold on a second before we switch. No, before, before we say anything. Please welcome our quick shot tech element representative, Woody from Toy Story. Time for heroism. I love this one. I like. I love how I've seen people create. Um, characters like actual characters like superheroes and stuff like that um like skylander boy and girl did it for a while which i don't know why they just decide to quit skylanders like boys if you want some good skylander stuff swing over to here uh. wow thanks for the update there but yes um what was i talking about oh i saw someone create spyro as a um, as an imaginator, and I'm like, oh, interesting. But it wasn't your classic Spyro on four legs. He was walking around, and he looked just like Spyro, and it was terrifying. Like I I had nightmares, but I didn't actually have nightmares. But I'm just saying, like, it's it was scary looking at it because it was like Spyro in human form. You're just like, oh no, I'm like that's weird. <laughs> so I love seeing people's imaginators created in this game. Like I love. All that stuff. So that's my question of the day, actually. That's a good question of the day. Tell me about your Imaginators. Um, I want to know your, what your creations, or even if you came up with creations I have, because I know Snickershot um, was kind of in the public eye with that, with winning that contest. Imaginators, we're going to stay as Woody for now until I think this is the battle where you got to, where you go up against your boy, um, or sent out the minions. I call them in the army men from the movie. You guys don't like Toy Story, then you don't know why you want this channel. Toy Story is like my all-time favorite movie, but they destroy everything. Come on, boys! So yeah. Um. Anyways, um. I want to know really about your imaginators. I want to know if you created some imaginators that are based off of real, real people, based off of like superheroes or stuff like that. I'm just curious to know. I want to know your imaginators. So tell me all about them. I'd love to hear it. So yeah, that's a good. That's a good question today. I think I think I chose really good with that one there. Come on, boys! There we go. 
I don't think the series is going to be long as the original playthrough I did that time, just because um, it's don't got the... I'm not doing all the other things, like going to the realms and all that stuff. So I think it's going to be a lot shorter. I'm going to defeat this thing first, because this is the weird guy. Come on. Oh. Ruff, 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 ruff. Got him. That was easy. Oh, I thought it, I thought those were my little dude. I thought it were my army men. Oops, my bad. All right, Anna, so here we go. I never had pancakes, but I can probably agree with you there. But as you've seen, she said, he said Bazooker. So that means we got another debut this episode. We have the undead Bazooker of Skelly Bro. The, oh, I'm so excited for you guys to look, check a little for Skelly Bro, the updated version. So you guys haven't seen Skelly Bro since the playthrough. He was he debuted in the playthrough because um, I needed the undead um the Undead Bazooker, because that was the stuff I needed for, um, what's his face? Uh, I totally forget his name. Slabertooth! He had the werewolf thing, because when, because hilarious, if you guys seen the uh, first version of Slabertooth, you wouldn't believe he's the same one. It's kind of funny. Boom! Get out of here! What is he doing spinning into me right now? I'm busy down here. Get out of here! I'm busy! I'm trying to walk here! Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, blow up yourself, idiot! Oh! I love that thing. I love that he can actually, like, if you stand beside him, he shoots out himself. That was easy enough. Look at the one just appeared up there for some reason. Oh no. I love cannons so much. I love cannons and cannons love me. I'm gonna defeat these guys. Oh, they did it for themselves anyways. Boom! Oh, 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 come on, get hit, get hit. Oh, boy, boy. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, we got this. The bazooka has been eliminated. Perfecto, and I leveled up level 23. Alright, so that's going to do it for that battle. Not for this episode, don't worry. We're only 13 minutes in. Come on now. We still got another battle later on. We got the Doombo. Snow, showy shoulder pad for the Precious Gem set. And the Magic Orbs. Oh, that was really cool, actually. But we only have one knight, so it doesn't matter. And he uses the Fire Sword. So so that's that was awesome. That was a quick battle with Skelly Bro. And it's undead. Look at that. So it's still Skelly Bro. <laughs> Awesome, we get you Skelbro some more. So that was that was a very simple battle there. It took no time taking him out. Um, Skelbro is pretty OP anyway. So, but yeah, that's Skelbro from the um, original series. If you guys did watch the original Imaginary series, you may remember Skelbro from it. Uh, but he has been fully upgraded since the last one. Did I glitch? What? What was that? That was a glitch. Hey, I don't think I've ever had a glitch in this game. That was interesting. I'm actually surprised by that. That was a legit glitch. It didn't affect the game. It just did a weird camera angle there. That was cool. We're implementing glitches, see? Or you could be like Skyline Boy and Girl and you have one glitch of a game and decide, you know, to throw the whole thing away. I'm salty about that, guys. I really am. Because, like, I noticed, like, when I watch my videos, usually in the related videos, the Skyline Boy and Girl's there, obviously, because it's, a uh, I make Skylander videos, and so do they, and they are the biggest Skylander channel here on YouTube, along with, like, Coin-Op TV, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot of other people, too, like, um, Polaris HD, he does a lot of Skylander videos. Um, who else do we have? There's not a lot of Skylander people I want. 
Dark? Oh my god, we're in, we are literally showing off everyone now. So welcome to the team, the Dark Swashbucker, Celio Oscuro, which stands for Darkened Sky in Spanish. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Our former luchador. I'm excited. We got a grind challenge now, that's fine. But yes, um... No, I'm salty when it comes out, because there's a lot of good YouTubers out there who uh, do Skylander stuff. And I mean, I I don't watch a lot of the Skylander Skylander people, but I know a lot of you guys are doing your own locks and, locks and stuff. And I mentioned, I did go and watch a couple of people do their dragon locks and their own locks and stuff like that. And I've had a couple people mention really cool locks for me to do. So I will be doing a bunch of them later on. Um, I totally forget your name, and I apologize, who told me about the swap lock an idea of like switching scholars back and forth and stuff and I will definitely be doing that one later on I don't think it's gonna be the next one or maybe the one after that but it will be pretty soon um, not soon but like sooner than later probably within the next year or anything but yes yeah, so that'll be coming up and I mean you guys are giving me these awesome ideas for locks and the thing is is a lot of people don't realize that everyone's lock is different like I could record a lock today and then a guy I know could record a lock tomorrow, and it could be completely different. Especially with the imagine the, the imagine lock, because you're literally recording um, with your imaginators. So, oh, okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Another cutscene. I don't think there's a sea monster. What is that thing? I need to have the thumbnail with a red circle around it. Ah! What are you? Get out of here! Get out of here! I don't like you! I don't appreciate you being around! <laughs> I took a big chunk of his health out there. So, saying, so as you can see, Celio Oscuro, by the way, is 18. I, uh, I didn't get him up to level 20. Before I recorded this series, um, and to be completely honest, I forgot. Not gonna lie to you, I forgot to put him up to level 20. So it's probably gonna take him no time to get to level 20, anyways. So come here. <laughs> he just laughed at it. So it looks like Celio is gonna be able, gonna be taking out this sea monster here because it says the Imaginators are stronger in this class, so I don't have to switch. So Celio Ascaro is gonna be taking on the sea monster, so he's gonna get some experience for that, so he'll probably get up to level. Uh, Level 20 there. Oh, look at that. Celio Oscuro, when I use that little power-up thing, he gets so fast. Like, regardless, he has fast swings, as you can see right away. He has some wicked fast swings to begin with. Like, that's pretty cool. But then you go like this, and it's... Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> oh, I scared Baxter. I'm sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to scare you, Baxter, buddy. Oh, I, I went... Bah, 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 and he got out of his home and went and hid in this food bowl. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to scare you. That's fine. It's the worst thing about having animals is you don't know how loud you're being half the time, and then the animals are like, Are you scaring me? And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Okay, we took down that sea monster. Perfect. We took out that little bit of chunk of health there, so that helps me going into the next one. I can't hit him again, right? Oh! 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 Oh, I'm low. Get out of here. Okay, we almost had our first loss. Look at my health. That is not good. That was just stupidity of me trying to hit him again, which I didn't really need to. So we got some food up here, so I'll give us some chunk of health back there. Perfect. Still not a lot. He's still in the yellow, so this is going to be a little bit dangerous. So it's going to be exciting to see if Celios Girl can survive this. Because, I mean, that was just one little chunk of health that he just took out there then. So, All right, here we go. He's coming back. Quickly through. Yes, perfect. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Turn that off. Oh, I revamped it. Let's go out to the side to hit him. Perfect. Okay, that should weaken him down. Here we go. This is going to be, this is a good boss battle. Like, the bazooka was no problem because the only thing is that all my other imaginators are up past level 20, so they're way stronger. Celio is still new. I only got the dark crystal there 
couple months ago, and it took me, and I didn't even have Celio at the, uh, oh, my pop filter fell! Oh, no, I'll pick that in a second. Oh, I didn't even get to hit him! Oh, it didn't even matter. Okay, uh, there we go. I fixed it. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I got Celio, and I didn't even have him... I didn't even have the idea for him at first, because when I was creating the Imaginators, usually most of them I came up with the ideas, and then I went and got the crystal for it. But I happened to find the dark one. I'm like, well, I, I gotta have a dark swash hole, because what am I gonna come up with? So I went the, the the theme of, you know, a wrestler. Their heels, they're dark. Like, the heel wrestlers are considered dark Skyland. Well, considered dark in the, uh, in the wrestling world. So, I thought it was perfect. You know, having a, having a heel. Oh! Gosh, you are low, my friend. You're not even blinking. That's interesting that you don't even blink. Okay. You right there, buddy? I think you found it, but... There it is! God, it's so stupid looking. You're welcome. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, big stretch, big stretch. It's one day, it's only 11 a.m. I just noticed that. So he takes that helm. In my opinion, and I mean literally, no offense to the Skylander team, but honestly, they could have done a little better with that helm. The Sea Monster is almost defeated. It looks like Celio is going to take him out, so. Next time he pops up, I'm sure by the looks of it, I'll be able to take him out. But Celio had two really close calls there, so I got to be very careful. Later on, especially with Celio, because he's so low with with the um, levels. And I would say, I'm like, oh, outside of it, I'll go uh, level him up. But right now, I'm recording, like, four more episodes after this. So, <laughs> I'm not really going to be, you know, recording with him or fixing him. Got him! Oh, that was way quicker than I thought it was going to be. And I run off the edge with it. Nice. Level 19. It wasn't a huge increase with him. It, what is it? Oh, we got a rice ball bag. No, that's a donut. That's a donut backpack. If you guys who don't watch Pokemon, you might understand. And we did it. That level has been defeated with two very close calls with Celio Asquero there. So we got to keep an eye on him in the future for sure. Because that's that's going to be that's gonna be dangerous in the end. He was so close to uh, getting defeated there. It's Skylanders. <laughs> Uh oh. Fellow 
the Skylanders. A giant vortex has appeared directly over the popular tourist destination known as Shellmont Shores. Also, hi, Jetpack. Nice to see you there, buddy. It must have been caused by chaos acquiring the everlasting thinking cap. No, it's the Helm of Ultimate. So that was called. Well, I have an idea on how to turn things around, but I need your help back at the academy. Then lead the way, buddy. I will. Next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd love to hear your feedback as always in the description. In the description, well, read the description right down there too. It's interesting stuff. But <laughs> um, let me know what your guys' opinion on this show or the series is on down in the comments. And while you're down there. Leave me your Imaginators. Tell me all about them. I'd love to hear all about your Imaginators. Because, I mean, you're getting to see mine, so I'd love to hear about yours, too. Hey, and do an Imaginator lock. It's fun. You don't need to record it. Just do it for fun. And just see how many you can, um, you can, you can survive with. Let me know how you do. And see how well you do, like, against my team. Because Celia Skura was very close to getting defeated in this episode. But that's going to be the end of this episode. So you got to worry there, Celio. We're going to continue on to the next episode. You did it, buddy. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know by leaving a like and a comment below. But as always, I bid you farewell.